Hi everybody, my name is Erin. I teach sixth grade science in Maine and um, I'm going to tell you why I like class equity so much. Um, so what I do, I pay my students minimum wage for what we have at state minimum wage in Maine, which is $13.80 an hour. So for a 40 hour work week, that's $552. Um, students can also earn um, extra money as a second job doing like uh, cleaning desks, uh, cleaning the floor, taking out the trash at the end of the day to help the custodians. Um, I have computer tech jobs. So someone in the morning passes out computers and someone in the afternoon puts them away because in sixth grade here, they can't take their computers home. So if a cart, they have to all be plugged in. Um, I have someone make a lunch menu every day. Uh, and then there's a little, I have it set up where you just uh, put your name in if you, uh, for which lunch option you would want. Um, and I have a few other jobs. Um, and with that money, uh, every month they have to pay $1,200 for rent. Um, that's about the average rent around here for a one or two bedroom apartment. Yes, crazy. Um, and then uh, I also charge $500 for uh, utilities, like a cell phone, even like can't have their cell phones in class, but kind of just to get them prepared for the real world. Um, I also offer in my store uh, for $110 a month, disaster insurance. Um, we haven't had a disaster yet this year, um, but I told them they may come in one day and all the desks are flipped over. And if they don't have insurance, they're gonna lose all their money. Uh, so they have to purchase that every month. Um, some of my store items, um, I got these little guys on clearance at a Walgreens. Uh, excuse my my uh, nail polish that's chipping off. Um, I try to get stuff on clearance. I also work at a Walgreens, so I get a discount on top of that. Um, let's see. I've gotten like little rocks uh, from a little science kit that I have that I've made little packets. I'm selling a geode. That's like a cracked version. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, they love stickers. They absolutely love stickers. Those those are always good. Um, I try to get just cheap things, uh, and they seem to really like those. Um, I did make like little scratch off tickets. Um, so and it's usually like uh, so. Here's like a hundred dollar one. Uh, it'll be like some pencils from the class store or. Um, Oh, I do have like yoga balls that they can sit on for uh, a class too. So I'll use, I'll give out coupons for those. Um, I try to have things that it's not going to cost me too much money out of my own pocket also. Um, so the, like the yoga balls to sit on or I have a rolly chair, things like that um, are the cheaper items in my store. And the things that I have to buy with my own money are, are more expensive. Um, so I hope that helps you with some ideas. Um, I've also taken things from home that I'm going to be putting in my yard sale. Um, obviously, it's it's good quality stuff, um, but I just kind of want to get it out of my house. So that's a good way to get rid of stuff from your house, too. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Bye. I also forgot to mention, um, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it says, great job. And then I wrote a uh, $20 bonus. So I have four of them. And so students that are, like, um, on task and doing what they're supposed to do, not being disruptive. Um, I'll put the cone on their desk um, and then they can turn it in at the end of class to get their $20. If I put it on their desk and then that behavior uh, goes away and they're off task um, and just causing a disruption, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the cone away from them. So that also seems to work pretty well. All right, thanks.